This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Yes indeed. Now I bet when you saw the title of this video, you were thinking that it was probably going to be about the solo from Smoke on the Water or Black Knight or something like that. Well, I've done Smoke on the Water already. Um, that was one of the Patreon exclusive solos from uh, last year sometime. I forget one. Uh, but no, the, uh, the first... Solo by Richie Blackmore that ever made a big impression on me was this one from Since You've Been Gone, and you've just uh, heard me having a crack at playing it there. Um, you see, the album Down to Earth and that single Since You've Been Gone came out when I was 12 years old, and up to that point, I hadn't really paid a lot of attention to rock music. It just wasn't my kind of thing, really. I was, um, you know, quite heavily into 50s rock and roll and was starting to get into blues from, from that angle. And uh, I just remember one Thursday night watching Top of the Pops and uh, the video. Were they called videos back then or were they still called promo films? Anyway, uh, Since You've Been Gone came on Top of the Pops and... I really rather liked it. And I thought, yeah, I should maybe um, start checking this sort of stuff out. There were a few singles around about the same sort of time. I remember uh, Living After Midnight by Judas Priest. That was around about that time as well. And that caught my attention as well. Um, anyway, that's the story behind why I've done this solo. So let's have a little bit of a look at what's going on in the solo. Solo explanation. Okay, then let's take a little bit of a look at what's going on in this solo. The first thing uh, is that, yes, there are more licks going on after what I showed on the, uh, the the version of the solo that I recorded. But at that point, um, the song is really kind of quiet. It's it's circling the drain on the fade out, and uh, Graham Bonnet's kind of singing over the top of the, the licks. I would defy anybody to accurately uh, transcribe what's going on there. So basically by the point you get to that stage in the solo you've made your point really um you know you've made all of, you've played all of the iconic licks that are there just improvise from that point on until you and your band um you know if you're doing this live uh you know basically come come to whatever ending you've worked out um so let's have a look at what the uh, the accompaniment is many people think of this song as being in the key of g and it is but it changes key for the uh, the final chorus um up to a and it's that chord sequence that a major sequence that we're playing over basically we've got a5 to e5 f sharp 5 to d5 and you know that riff like that, basically. Uh, so we're in A major, and most of the, um, the the solo is based on an A major scale uh, in a couple of positions, and maybe a little bit of A major pentatonic as well, you could argue. You've got that A major scale and uh, a bit of this one. Like that. But a couple of extra notes in there that we'll come to in due course. Uh, well, actually, we'll come to the first one of them now because we start with um, a lick that involves this G note here. In the A major scale, we have a G sharp, but we start on a lick that has a G in it. Um, the first note in the solo over the, the, the sort of drum fill that brings the solo in is this A note here, and then we have this pre-bend and release. Like that. There's your first lick. Like that. So having that note bent to pitch before you pick it, that's probably going to be your um you know, your homework for this evening really. Um and other than that it's just coming straight down um like an A major scale. That D to E bend there. Then 
D to C sharp. Then we're down at this part of the neck here uh, using the, this kind of lower version of the A major scale. And most of what comes for the next couple of licks you could really describe just as being A major pentatonic. Once again we start with this pre-bend uh, that we come down. It's basically a C sharp being let down to a B. So you get that. Just coming out of like basically an A major pentatonic thing there, so. And then more of that sort of stuff. And at that point we hit the G note again, this time here. And um, then a rather unusual note choice, this B flat here. But he doesn't really stress it and he bends it slightly up towards the bow. So you get, so you get um, uh, that is basically the lick that's being played. And then the G note crops up again in the form of an open string here where we have this lick. That's what he plays. So you get, um, where are we? Uh, there we go. So um, just putting that into context, we've got... And then we come to this part of the solo where we bring the D note in here. So it's now more major scale than major pentatonic. And then we're up to the final little part of the solo here where it's... And then just some bendy stuff on this B note here up to C sharp. Which is just basically, you know... We had the, the B being bent up to the C sharp, uh, and the A there, like that. And it's just basically doing that sort of stuff an octave higher. So, it's it's an interesting little solo, this one. Um, you know, the, I su suggest the main sort of takeaways from this are the... Those, uh, you know, pre-bend and release kind of like That kind of thing. So, you know, a new technique perhaps for you to get your teeth into? Go and have some fun with it. And as always, there is a full tab in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, along with a clip of me playing the solo and that explanation you've just seen there and a jam track to play along with. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address and the link is, as always, in the description. It's only $3 or £2.50 a month and you get access to all of these additional goodies that go along with these YouTube videos. A massive heartfelt thank you to everybody who supports me in that or any of the other ways, all of which are likewise linked down in the description. Thank you so much, everyone. And that is pretty much the video for today, folks. Hope you found it uh, useful and informative in some small way. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not give me a like while you're at it. Don't forget, as always, the live stream every Friday, 5pm UK time, where we drink beer. That's the main thing that goes on there and talk about whatever happens to crop up, usually guitar and music related, but all topics are open for discussion. The, the conversation often goes and you know anywhere really. So it's a great way to kick off the weekend. I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now.